right, so obviously, yeah, let's start here with this weekend. I mean, this high of a year that's been a huge success story. Now it's hitting a new high this year with the Truck Series debut. Mm -hmm. So what has been the feeling of this weekend for you personally? Uh, dude, it's been, I feel like I've been going, 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 going. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I've, I've been having a ton of fun this weekend. I've been pretty busy, even though it rained all day yesterday. And, you know, just trying to relax, stay as cool and calm as possible, you know. Really, I'm just trying to, you know, not overthink it, really, not to mm -hmm. think, oh, this is a truck race. You know, I'm trying to just, uh, on the level, just trying to think that this is just another, you know, weekend at the short track and uh, running my Super League model in New Smyrna, Florida. So uh, um, that's really the mindset I'm trying to carry. Obviously, there are things I got to do. Obviously, I have to perform and whatnot because I'm trying to move up into this series. But, you know, I'm, not, I'm just trying to, you know, slow it down, not to put too much pressure on myself because... You get in those situations when you start overthinking things, putting too much pressure on yourself, start making mistakes. And so, you know, I think that's going to be super important uh, here in qualifying because we haven't, we've had no practice. So we're just going to have to go out there and, you know, try and go as fast as we can. So really it's just staying loosened up, um, staying calm, cool, collective as possible. It's going to be huge here in qualifying because, you know, it'd be pretty cool to have a run at the pole. So um, I'm super excited for what the, this May's Hawaii t Toyota Tundra number 54 uh, DJR Crosley truck's gonna do and uh, you know I'm just trying to stay relaxed is it hard to do that <laughs> yeah because yeah. you, you follow the sport for a long time obviously this is what you live for and you understand what this series is like and is it hard to stay relaxed and to treat it like any other weekend it is hard to stay relaxed because uh, you know because I mean even the cup guys are here and those are the yeah. guys looking down trying like so prospecting in a sense so uh, it's definitely huge. It's definitely hard to stay relaxed, but you know, really, I just you know, I try to almost not think about racing. I just try to think about you know the golf game yesterday or today, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I just try to stay loosened up that way, or just try to t try to get the conversation off of racing because a lot of times you know you're just sitting there and it's like, all right, what do we want to do? What are we going to do? So uh, you know, really, just trying to st uh, stay focused, but not focused at the same time. Mm -hmm. I like subconsciously focused, but consciously, you know, um, just just relaxed right, right. I spoke to you at a uh, Dover in the media center and I told you about winning that Canaan title the, the other drivers who have done it the Ben Rhodes William Byron's they've all ended up being in a truck ride pretty soon afterwards and now you're one of them so yeah. have you really been speaking to other younger guys I mean is it really a close community especially with champions about what you're going through because they've done it themselves uh not not yet hopefully today you know it, it rained all day yesterday so yeah. everybody kind of just stuck to their haulers and kind of stuck to themselves but you know I, I plan to talk to a few of them I know I have Kyle Benjamin who's my teammate this weekend he was really successful in the Canaan series and he's been successful in the truck so far yeah. so uh, I have him to lean on a lot and he actually finished second here in the spring so he can uh, really give a lot of insight on a lot of details and obviously you know team owner David Gilliland he's here mm -hmm. and uh, you know he's probably gonna be the biggest tool of all because you know he ran a cup truck a cup car here so uh, just a few times so uh, you know I'm really excited for what we got and you know I think we're going to be doing we're going to do good today honestly you know I have uh, I've learned to set my bar my my my, my goals a little bit higher yeah. than I w did at, at the beginning of this year especially in the Canaan car so you know I think we can go out there and win it's just a matter of putting everything together learning as fast as possible and really you know we'd love to go win but you know it's just putting all running every single yeah. lap would be huge running putting in a good finish a good run would be probably the best thing for us today if we could win we're, we're going to try our be very yeah. best so you know, obviously, I haven't even done a pit stop before, so that's going to be something new, learning right. pit road speed, trying to stay under it, learning all the rules, so you know what? It's just, like I said, it's just a matter of putting it all together. No pit, pit stops in K&N, ever? No, no, never. I guess that's a good sign. Yeah. You didn't have many issues. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you mentioned David Gitteland, and, and you've known this team you know, all year now. You've really been able to gel with them. Having him here this weekend and, and having kind of a familiar face and a familiar team with you, how has that really been gelling this year? And, and obviously it's a very comfortable place to be for your truck debut. It's it's huge because, you know, my k and crew chief all year has been Seth Smith, and he's my truck crew chief this weekend, so that is huge because actually we have the same road crew and uh, shop crew with me this weekend as we did on the 17 car in k and as we do this weekend on the truck. So it's huge, you know, all the same faces, all the same personalities haven't had to change a thing outside of the truck and then with the vehicle I'll be driving so um, it's been a huge help this weekend because they all understand me they all know me mm -hmm. they all know what I like in the car and you know just communication factor wise is me and Seth gelled so well over this year and I think you know four wins in championship proves mm -hmm. that but he's just fantastic so far yeah what have you learned most from that full k and season a lot of drivers come out very different than how they came in was that the same for you you know I think the biggest thing I learned is you know 
uh, just r racing every single race with your full heart. You know, at the, at the at the end of the year, everybody was telling me, you know, you're, you're leading the points right now. You're leading by 30 points or 40 points or 50 points. You got to drive conservative. You got to do this. You got to do this. And it really messed me up. Um, you know, not putting blame on anything, anyone, but uh, it really put me in the mindset of, okay, I got to drive conservative. I can't wreck. I can't, you know, put myself in risky positions. And at the beginning of the year, I, you really saw my uh, finishes decline. I think Gateway was like a sixth. Loudon was a 13th. Dover, obviously, we had a problem with pit road. Mm -hmm. It was 11th. And so it was just... And but we were fast all day at Dover, but it just it was just all those things that went into it, um, really mentally messed me up. So really, the biggest thing I learned is if you're in a championship position, just don't change a thing you're doing mm -hmm. because everything we've been doing all year was working, right. and I think up until the last three races of the year, I had like an average finish like 3.2, mm -hmm. and I finished the year off with a 4.6. Yeah. So you no, know, we we were awesome all year, even when our bad races were still pretty good. And um, it was just a matter of just staying consistent, and we were, I, I just lost sight of that in the car. And uh, I'm sure I wasn't the first driver to ever do that, but, you know, that's probably the biggest thing I learned. You know, do you say that this debut, obviously, would be a lot tougher if you didn't have that experience? Even though it's a completely different series, but you had that competition, mm -hmm. and as you said, those lessons that you learned, I mean, I'm sure some of that has to bleed over to this series. For sure, because, you know, in this, in this truck, it's no longer... You know, you're not you're not every single kid in the field anymore is your age, minus Brandon McReynolds. Mm -hmm. You know, all all the people in the field right now have been in the truck for at least a year or more. So, I mean, there's five or six of us kids in the Arc or Canaan series are are that are making our jump. Mm -hmm. But um, right now, they're you know, ninety percent of the field are you know guys like Crafton and Sauter have been in the series for a really long time. So it's going to be really hard to beat them. And uh, you know, really just got to give it up my full all my heart. Did you have a projection for your career? And, and if so, are you kind of matching up to what your expectations are? It's so, there's so many moving parts, of course. Yeah, I think everybody has a projection what they want to do in their mm -hmm. career. Kind of like, you know, college football or uh, co college baseball. You know, it's like, oh, four or five years I want to be in the, right, right. In, in the pros. So, uh, so far, we've had like nine different projections. So, <laughs> not, not every single one has gone, gone right. But, you know, for the for what we've been doing, I think we're... Uh, we're headed down the right track. Yeah. What are you working on as possible options for next year? Obviously, you know, we'd love to do full-time truck. That'd be fantastic. If we could do that, we would. But uh, right now, it doesn't really look like we, we could do that financially. Mm -hmm. So really right now, part-time trucks and part-time ARCA, maybe some super low model racing mm -hmm. is what we got in store next year. We're not too sure yet. I mean, really, it's still October. We still have, mm -hmm. you know, two and a half months before next race season. And we still have a little bit of super low model racing still with the All-American 400 and the Derby coming up after this after martinsville so mm -hmm. really not too sure uh, i'd love to race a full-time truck i'd love right. to do that so uh you know we're just gonna have to see has david really expressed interest in going full-time do you know like the inside mm -hmm. inside on what he wants to do i mean yeah he has expressed it and we've expressed it as well but you know you know sometimes things don't work out as you'd like them to be so you know we're gonna try our best to get things ironed out before the beginning of next season and uh, really, we'll probably have a better answer by December after the banquet. Yeah, and final question, uh, your realistic expectations. You said you want to go out and win. Obviously, the truck um, can obviously do that. Kyle came really close in the spring. Your expectations for this weekend and really what you would be happy with coming out. You know, I'd be, I'd love a top five, top ten finish and running every single lap, not making any mistakes on pit road. Because I really, I, because Martinsville, Martinsville is so tough. Just, just pit road wise, pit roads are really small, really narrow. Mm -hmm. The pit pit boxes are super small, and the racetrack it's a paper clip. It's probably the toughest racetrack to ever pass on in the cup mm -hmm. schedule. It's the smallest racetrack as well, so um, just to have be mistake mistake free all day would be perfect. And I think if you're mistake free all day, you're going to have a top five shot, maybe mm -hmm. a win. And uh, you know I think that's what one thing that Kyle did really good last year, just watching old films. They they've never made a mistake on pit road, mm -hmm. and they were able to short pit and get ahead of everyone else and they were able to be there in the end. So if we could do that, make mistake free, run every single lap, have a shot at a win, maybe get some television time, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely, Debbie, appreciate your time, yeah. Tyler. Yeah, best luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you.